I would not succeed in a cubicle somewhere with a, a very uh, pyramid leadership structure. Yeah, I mean, some days I'm a little concerned that I'm the jack of all trades is also a master of none, but I like the diversity of what I do and that uh, um, I'm responsible ultimately for everything. My name's David Lasky, class of 1994. Sounds kind of crazy to say that. Um, and uh, I live in Colorado and I work as a farrier, which is a, a horseshoer. I was really attracted to experiential education and, and you know, just making my living outdoors. I spent 10 years as a wildland firefighter and a forester. Our farrier used to come up every eight weeks and shoe the horses. It was a, a type of horse care that I wanted to learn more about. And so I started quizzing them and then finally said, you know what, maybe I could ride with you one day a month just to kind of see how, you know, how it's done. After about 10 years of forestry, I decided it was time for a change. So I started to apprentice with our farrier, and then after that, went to school for three months. And then I came back and started doing it. So right now, what I'm taking out is the sole. It's a totally non-sensitive or insensitive part of the horse's foot. Um, and it naturally exfoliates. And so we're just helping that natural process along here. And then we nail it on, and the hoof is made out of essentially the same thing that our nails are made out of. So they don't feel it any more than you and I feel clipping our toenails. The joke is there's only two types of horseshoers, those who have been hurt and those that will be hurt. Horses are big animals, and they're unpredictable, and I'm 44, you know, obviously. My uh, physical abilities are not what they were when I graduated from FNM. And so it's actually necessitated a little bit of a lifestyle change on my part. I'm doing things like yoga and stuff like that that I wouldn't naturally necessarily you know, find myself doing. I mean, the impact with FNM really was the people. Alice Drum in particular was, as dean of students, hugely empowering of helping myself and a bunch of other um, folks at FNM start student organizations. That's actually really what gave me the, the big leap into ultimately being an entrepreneur um, and having the self-confidence to go off and, and do things that perhaps weren't totally on the straight and narrow. We all get a lot of messages, be it from parents or peers or society at large about what we're supposed to be or what success is supposed to be. Do what, it's not so much do what you want to do but don't do what you feel like you're supposed to do. 